Okay, let me back this out a little. All right. So now it's time to insert. I don't know if you can see it here. The Allen screw back into the uh, BC Racing shop. Now the BC Racing self-healing rubber-like seal. I I realize now. I think no matter how much pressure pressure you put into the particular shock you're you're working on it is designed to only accept a, a little over 150 psi so if you put 300 psi in there the that self-healing rubber seal will not close up until 150 psi is is remaining in the shock anything greater than that it, it can't close on its on its own so I think that's what the deal is. So if you take it, let's say, to 150, 200 PSI, it's just going to be 150 PSI when you're done. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and insert this screw in here, and that's pretty much it. And that is how you um, disassemble a BC Racing BR shock from start to finish and change the internals. What I'm actually going to do, sorry about the camera here, is uh, keep in mind the post that's very thorough, more thorough than this video, is called Do It Yourself DIY Shock Revalve Parts 1 through 3. And that's on uh, clublexus.com here. Gosh darn it. Yeah, that's on clublexus.com. Type that in Google and it will lead you right to the post. Um, within that, all the parts 1, 2, and 3, I show you how to break it apart like I just did here, change the internal to Bilstein internals, and then also um, I showed the math behind how to get what you want or what you desire and kind of explain the difference between motion ratios uh, you know forces and compression rebound forces X Y and Z and how to do the calculations on it uh, I'll probably make another video to show the calculations on a whiteboard and try and explain the best as possible keep in mind I am no shock race team expert or anything of that matter I'm just an everyday engineer guy that likes to do, do DIY so I just want to show you guys how to do some cool stuff and if as I go through and find more you'll see some more videos so I guess that's it hope you enjoy alright ladies and gents it's the wee hours of the morning seven o'clock Sunday but I felt compelled to do this up next if you ever heard of a Polk RTI 12 tower if you don't want to spend that seven hundred dollars plus new per tower I'm going to show you how to build uh, what's known as an EMI-12 tower, Electro Maven, but even better than that, and the RTI-12 for a fraction of the cost. Alright, coming soon.